Okay, amazing. I am here with Jane and we recently have worked together. I would love for you to just share who you are, where you're from, and a little bit more about yourself. Sure. Um, my name's Jane and I'm a clinical psychologist. Um, I have a private practice and I'm uh, coming from Portland, Oregon, amazing. or will be Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Amazing. Well, if you could share with us um, what was going on with you, your wardrobe, getting dressed, shopping, all of the things um, before we started working together. Yeah, I think I was in a real rut, um, especially with COVID and uh, just like feeling dull and like selection, not quite sure what to wear. Um, feeling really bored, feeling like I was just recycling the same standard outfits for work and then at home, um, really only wearing like comfortable clothes. Uh, I think during COVID, I only bought, um, any new items I bought were of sweatshirt material. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I was <laughs> looking to feel, uh, more confident, um, and just excited about like what I was wearing and showing up. Yeah. Seems like we all kind of like, we, we kind of lost the edge when it came to getting dressed, like the training wheels almost needed to come back on. Right. Yeah. So. And then what do you um think was your biggest aha or takeaway moment um through, during the program? Um, I think it's hard because I think I had a few, um, but I think maybe the biggest was probably learning how to dress my body. Mm -hmm. Um, and just knowing, being able to, uh, learn how to go into a, a store or even look online and know, or at least have a sense, like, will this look good on me or not? Mm -hmm. Um, based on, uh, cuts and different, um, proportions and things like that. So that was really huge. Um, and then I think another, uh, takeaway that just made it really fun was learning more about color and how to pair different colors. So I'm finding that's just really fun to experiment with different things. Um, like I had remembered, I remember in the, um, I don't remember what week it was, um, but it was pairing colors and prints and things. And I remember pairing a stripe and like I have these shorts. I think they're like seahorses. And I was like, I would never do this before. And I was like, oh, this works. So just kind of fun to get more creative with the clothing. I love that. I think they were all kind of so afraid of making a mistake, especially like we've been trained yeah. to be like in fear of that. And then this actually gave you the permission to experiment, but also like with some rules as opposed to like, just make an outfit. It's like, no, try like a, li a limited controlled experiment as opposed right. to like, just try something completely new. Cause then you'll love it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So and yeah. What do you it's feel like has been the biggest change now from when you started the program to now when either you're getting dressed, shopping, going in your closet, any of the things? Yeah. Um, I think there's more ease in getting dressed. Um, like I don't find myself uh trying on multiple things now and like throwing them on the bed and on the ground and be like nope try again nope try again um I feel like now if I'm trying on multiple things it's more fun rather than like oh like I want to pull my hair out and like oh my gosh like nothing works it's more like oh well this looks okay but what if I did this rather than like oh I have nothing to wear and I don't know what I gonna wear and I have to believe now right it's kind of oh. like you have the the guidance to if you want to tweak something how to tweak it it then just becomes to like ooh, what do I want to wear yeah, that's more As exciting to like but, yeah right yeah and I think uh another thing that's kind of fun is like before some of my friends who I think like were much more stylish than me. Now they're asking me some questions and I'm like, oh yeah, I have some to contribute. This is cool. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I do know things now. So One of the things I, that I remember you shared with me that was pretty amazing is that you used to be super intimidated by discount stores 
like yeah. the J Max right. and all of that. And you actually yeah. feel like now you can like rock those, like it's your job. Yeah. Like I was really surprised when I just stepped in a Ross because it was close to where I was. And I said, well, why not? And was thoroughly shocked that I picked out three items, tried them on. I mean, I tried on a few more, but generally like it was quick and easy and I was out and I came away with some things. Whereas I bought the three items and usually I would feel overwhelmed and come out with nothing and be like, how does anyone shop in these stores? Right. <laughs> <laughs> because like, there's just... definitely a lot, a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. And always like in real awe of people finding those bargains and finding like the really like cute things that look so good on them and being shocked by how they did that. And so I felt like that was kind of a win. Totally a win. So what would you tell someone that was on the fence about joining the program and kind of a little bit hesitating? What do you, what would you share with them? Um, I would say uh, to give it a go because it's, uh, it's really been helpful for me. Like I've learned so much. Also another thing too, because I think I followed you on Instagram for a while before pulling the trigger uh, which I tend to do. I like to research things or like hold for a while before I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it. Um, and uh, once I did it and went through the, is it five weeks? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, then afterwards, like going through my social media feed and seeing the other um, people on there who were talking about fashion and style, it was like, oh, I get this now. I understand what they're talking about and I can integrate that now too. Mm -hmm. um, whereas before I was just like, oh, okay, that works for them or this or that. And so I feel like having the knowledge now also just opens up other avenues of learning more about styling and like, oh, like I get why they're doing it and I like it or I don't like it mm -hmm. and having more clarity about it. So I would say to do it. I think it's been really good for my confidence and just how I feel in my clothes. Um, and, and I think it was just fun. Initially it was a little bit scary, I would say. So just like if someone's starting, um, like that was definitely, uh, my experience in terms of like, oh my gosh, I completed the first assignment. We're opening up some boxes here that I didn't even know were related to clothes <laughs> uh, because it's deeper than that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and like continuing just to move through that um, and uh, how much more freedom I feel with um, styling and getting dressed. Yeah. So I, I would say take the leap, like even if you're feeling nervous. Yeah. And I think that the two things that you really share, shared are really powerful. Number one, now you understand, because I feel like a lot of women do come to me and they're like, I try to re repeat and replicate what everyone's doing. And then we turn around and we're like, well, there's something wrong with me because their solution doesn't work for me. So obviously I'm wrong. Okay. And, like, and it's not actually that anything is wrong with anything. It's just that we're actually picking the wrong parts of the clothes without knowing like what are the things that are most flattering with on us. So it kind of puts us in the control, in the control seat of knowing like, and just being fine with it. Like, I think that's so powerful of being like, you know what, like she's a size zero, I'm not, but this would never look good on her and it looked great on me. So being a little bit more of like, where, where do I gravitate towards? And then the other thing that you mentioned is like, this is definitely much deeper than clothes because clothes yeah. are an extension of our identity. So the re so the thing like we're beating ourselves up because getting dressed is so hard and then it's cyclical of like, what, just clothes, why can't I figure it out? And it's like, oh, there's some yeah. emotion stuff, there's some body image stuff, there's some identity stuff, there's like some other right. things that just like when you have some clarity, it's like, okay, like, yeah, I can move on and realize that some of the decisions I've been making about my wardrobe haven't really been mine. I know that like a lot of like myself included are kind of like, well, well, my mom didn't like my curves. She felt like I should be hiding them. And therefore I've been doing them my whole life, but actually that's not how I want to show up. And just being able to understand what works for you and what doesn't work for you, I think is really freeing. Yeah. I think too, for me, like some of the history uh, that showed up was just noticing how indecisive I could be with shopping and remembering that 
and then kind of thinking about like, ooh, okay, like where is this indecisiveness coming from? Um, and just that was like, okay, some work, some more work to do there. Mm-hmm. I love that. I love that. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you sharing your experience with everyone. And I know that it will definitely be helpful and benefit them. Great. Yeah. Happy to help.